Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, a question from a viewer about the activity monitor in Windows updates. So yes, you can monitor the way Windows updates actually arrive or are shared uh, with your computer. And I said shared because there is a way to share updates. And so there's different settings that you can look at in Windows updates for that. But the activity monitor will tell you what happens. So right click on your start button in Windows 10, go into your settings app. There you will go into update and security and in here you will click the delivery optimization on the left side and you'll click activity monitor. And this is going to tell you the way updates are downloaded and shared on your computer. So depending on if you have more than one PC or not, there's different numbers that are going to show up here. First of all, the statistics are going to tell you that from the downloads are from Microsoft, in my case from Microsoft, 98.26%. So from Microsoft, I got 2.9 gigabytes of updates of all sorts that have happened. And that's since the 1st of February, 2023. Then you'll have from the Microsoft cache server, zero, or it says not available in this case. From PCs on my local network, I had 52 megabytes, 1.73%. What's that? That's because I have more than one computer with Windows 10 on my home network. When you download Windows updates, your Windows updates can be shared between your network computers, your computers that are on the same home network. And that is to prevent Microsoft download here to be too big on each computer. So you see here it's 2.9 gigabytes. For example, uh, if I would have seven, eight, nine computers, well, that would add a lot, you know, nine computers at three gigabytes would, you know, be 27 gigabytes. So by sharing with my local network, it lowers the amount of gigabytes from the internet because my computers share updates among themselves. So that's a good thing to happen. And then there's from PCs on the internet, not available because it's turned off in my case. Why? because I don't want to share updates with PCs on the internet, so I turned it off. And that also means that I cannot get from other PCs on the internet. What's other PCs on the internet? Well, it's PCs from you, from other people, uh, where you can actually share the uh, download. Uh, it's like a peer-to-peer -peer download. And the reason it exists is to lower the pressure on the Microsoft servers, but I don't wish to do that because it could use some of your bandwidth if your updates are shared with others on the internet. It can also maybe slow down your internet connection sometimes, but it's mostly because of the bandwidth. Sharing with others means that you will have um, some uh, updates at, uh, at some point. So uh, this is kind of interesting. So uh, that's the information you've got on the statistics of the um, downloads. And so here at the bottom, there's upload statistics, uploaded to PCs on the internet, of course not available, and uploaded to PCs on my local network, 48.6 megabytes. That's from this PC to my other Windows 10 PC in my home network. So that's the statistics and what they mean. And so uh, that's the activity monitor. Also at the same time, if you want to know how much uh, the um, bandwidth used by the Microsoft downloads for Windows updates and so on, uh, you can check it out here. You have the statistics that show up every month to tell you how much. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.